are you feeling out there? Are you fundraising? Are you walking with your team? Are you on your way to star walker status? Lots of questions, I know, I know. But I'm just excited for this extra special episode eight of The Walk Show. <laughs> That's because it's ABC7 AIDS Walk LA special week. I'll be filling you in on all the information about this Sunday's broadcast later on this week's challenge. So let's dive right in. This week's episode is brought to you by Premier Pharmacy Services. Thank you. Coming to terms with an HIV diagnosis can be a scary thing. While so much progress has been made treating the physical symptoms of the disease, it's still critical for HIV patients to seek regular medical care. Putting together an action plan for living a long, healthy life can be just as important as taking the right medications every single day. The HIV specialty care staff at APLA Health Center Mid Wilshire understand the unique circumstances that are part of the HIV experience. For people living with HIV, having access to world-class medical care for overall wellness makes all the difference. In this week's feature, we head to Olympic Boulevard to see the impactful work our HIV specialists do on a daily basis to help patients cope. My name is Uber Pineda. I'm originally from Guatemala City. At the time that I received my diagnosis, the doctor that gave me the, the results of my test was just not very compassionate. He came in, just threw the folder, kind of like slammed it on the, on the table. You know, I looked at him and, and he said, yeah, the, your test came positive. Wow, um, that wasn't very nice. I just wanted to feel welcome. I just wanted a doctor that I could relate to, a doctor that knows how a gay man feels, what we go through in life. So one of the things that we offer by having expertise in the healthcare needs of the gay and lesbian community is a warm and welcoming place for people to come and get that care. And I just definitely found it here. I, I, you know, Dr. Blatstein has been my doctor for over 10 years, I think. At APLA Health, we offer primary health care, we specialize in HIV care, and we have a great deal of expertise in that area, as well as PrEP and healthcare for the entire community. We also have additional wraparound services to help people deal with insurance issues, to help people get access to some of the funding sources that are already there that may, may not be aware of. Because living with HIV is now possible, in the past we were focused more on HIV causing imminent suffering and death. But because now it has really become a very manageable lifelong condition, it means that we have to incorporate it into the rest of healthcare or the rest of mental health care in order to successfully address it. It's invaluable to feel that you're healthy. I'm so, so glad and so, so happy that I followed the directions of my doctor and I started uh, my, um, my meds and my, uh, my treatment. I feel the warmth, I feel, the, I feel like I'm welcome, like I matter in here. Welcome back to The Walk Show, everyone. Right now, I'm in a deep, meditative state. My thoughts appear in my mind like a ripple in water, so peaceful, so undisturbed. Nothing can bring me out of this. <laughs> Come on! An air horn? Uh, seriously with that thing? Well, I guess it's time for this week's leaderboard update. <laughs> oh my God, look at all those walkers and teams absolutely crushing it this week. 
Remember, the ABC7 special is this Sunday, and the top three names you see here will get a special recognition for their hard work and relentless spirit during AIDS Walk LA. Of course, there's still time to see your name atop the leaderboard before our first fundraising deadline on October 3rd. We're getting closer and closer to the finish line. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Check out my fundraising tips and get to work. Now it's time for this week's fundraising tip with OnChina. Inside each of us is a brain. And an athlete. And a rebel. And an artist. And a drama queen. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, OnChina. Before we close the book on episode 8, I want to leave you with a challenge. Are you ready? This week's challenge is to watch television. No, seriously. Our special walk show episode on ABC7 airs this Sunday and I want you to all tune in. We'll be talking all things AIDS Walk LA and featuring the winners of our ABC7 fundraising challenge and raffle. If you're like me, you got so good at watching TV this past year, so I know you got this challenge locked up. See you Sunday on ABC7. Now don't forget to check out AIDSWalkLA.org all next week for ABC7 special content and a recap of our time on TV. I'll see you then.